Hello and welcome to FS Golf. My name is Frank Stranick and today I'd like to speak to you about shaft acceleration. That is what's happening to your shaft as you're bringing it down and through the impact area. Also we'll take a look at whether or not that shaft fits your particular skill level and we'll see if that shaft is uh, matched to your swing speed. So to do that I'm going to use my flight scope. Uh, flight scope is uh, a unique uh, device because it's the only one that can provide you with this information. And uh, I believe most, if not all, of the surge fitters are flight scope equipped, so you can talk to any one of them about this, and they'll be quite uh, uh, eager to uh, discuss it and show you how your shaft is working for you. Okay, I'm going to show you four examples. Uh, one example will be a shaft that is. Um, best for someone who slices a ball, one is best for someone who fades the ball, one is best for someone who has a pretty straight shot or maybe even a slight draw, and one that is totally inconsistent. Okay, the first one we're going to look at, as you can, and we're going to concentrate on this area right down here in the lower right hand side, this curve right here. Uh, that's showing you the rate of acceleration curve, and it's showing you what the shaft is doing at the point of impact or just prior to the point of impact. That's the deflection of the tip end of the shaft. In this particular case, if you're a person who happens to uh, slice the ball, then this is probably a, a good curve for you. You can see the little fish hook on the bottom down there. And uh, it also gives you a little help in squaring the face. When I say little, I mean a little help in squaring the face. But um, if, you're if you're a slicer, then you might want to think about a shaft that has this particular type of acceleration curve. In addition to that, you might also want to think about a closed face club. So the combination of the two would be the best uh, type of uh, configuration that would help you with your slice. If you're a person, for example, who fades the ball, here's a second curve, and as you can see, the uh, hook is not quite as abrupt as it was on the previous one. So what you're getting here is just a very slight adjustment at the bottom end of the uh, stroke and it will give you also a little better control of the ball. Uh, the straighter the line is, the more control you might tend to have on that ball. But if you have a bit of a fade and you want to get a little bit of help uh, when you're going through your fitting, then this is what you might want to be looking for as far as a shaft is concerned. The next one, this is for the player who uh, pretty much has control of his, uh, of his swing. He uh, is pretty good at putting the ball relatively close to the center of the uh, fairway. Or a player who might uh, have a little bit of a draw. As you can see, there's very little movement at all in this shaft. It's fairly constant going down. And it's also indicative of a player who has a smooth swing with uh, good rhythm and tempo. So if you're that player, then this would be a good shaft for you. Lastly, I'm going to show you a shaft that isn't good for anybody. And then we'll just blow up this thing down here, and you can take a look, and they got them going all over the place. Uh, this shaft, uh, you probably, uh, for you, it may work for somebody else, but for you, you probably want to pull this shaft out and put one in there that's going to be uh, more in line with what you're particular swing characteristics are. Now remember we looked at the first one was for a, a slicer, the second one for someone who faded the ball, the third one for someone who has fairly good uh, control of their swing, a smooth swinger who has a little bit of a draw, and this one is a shaft that simply doesn't work for anybody. Okay, now let's move on and we'll take a little bit different look and we'll talk about swing speed. In the upper left hand side, uh, you see the last curve that I just showed you. Let's say that the player has a 90 mile an hour swing speed. Uh, if he swings the club at 90 miles an hour and he has a fairly consistent swing, fairly smooth swing, then this 90 mile per hour shaft is good for him. Uh, what happens if we take that same player and we say, okay, now I want you to swing 100 miles an hour? Well, you can see from the lower left-hand corner that we have that little bitty fish hook, and it's telling him that the tip section of that shaft is just a little bit weak for me 
I probably need something a little firmer, okay? If he has a 100 mile an hour swing. Go to the upper right and let's say the player has a 110 mile an hour swing. Well, you can see now that the tip section is much too soft for him. So he might have to move into a stiffer flex, but definitely into a tip, stiffer tip section of the shaft. And again, the one on the lower right, well, we'll use that next spring for a tomato steak. That doesn't work in any case here. Okay, now, let's move on to shaft selection. I just put three shafts up here to illustrate uh, uh, what we have. Let's say that our 90 mile per hour uh, player, uh, he had the shaft that fit him perfectly. Well, if that particular shaft was the one on the lower right-hand side here, uh, that's great because that shows he has the proper rate of acceleration and the proper bending properties in that shaft to allow him to continually have uh, constant control of the flight path of that ball. However, what if he was the 100 mile an hour player? And again, you can see here we had the slight hook upward on the 100 mile an hour player. Then he probably would have to move up to this line up here, which is a little firmer tip section of the shaft. And then the 110 mile per hour player, he would have to move off of this and maybe even up to that section up there. There are thousands of shafts out there. I took this off Tom Wishon's uh, shaft profiling program, which all the fitters use. And uh, they'll be able to go into there and find you a shaft that will perform best for you. So when you go to see your fitter and you're doing a club fitting uh, with a driver, uh, take a look at, or an iron as a matter of fact, uh, take a look at these curves, see which uh, curve best fits you, uh, fit yourself into that particular shaft that best fits your swing characteristics, and you'll have a little better control of the ball as it's going down the fairway. If you have any questions on any of these uh, areas that I've just shown you, it's pretty quick, but if you have any questions, you can always send me an email, and I'd be very happy to answer any and all questions that you might have. Okay, until then, have a good day, enjoy your golf, and we'll see you on the next trip. Bye now.